Create Studio Pro introduced a wave effect in version 1.8, and in this tutorial, I will share how to apply that effect to make the water wavy, but not the sky or island. Keep watching, and I'll show you how. This is Randy with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. Start by searching backgrounds for C and drag it onto the canvas. This background happens to be a group, which is indicated by these stacked diamonds. If I play the video, I see the boat travels onto the canvas. I don't want that motion, so I will delete the background on the timeline. What? Why select the background if you are going to delete it? My interrupting neighbor asks a good question. When I dragged a background that is grouped onto the canvas, it also placed two images into my files media folder. In the top left, click on the media icon, and in my files, you will see a folder named C. When I click on that, I see the background image and the boat image. Grab the background and drag it onto the canvas. Increase the duration of the clip to 12 seconds. The way to make the water wavy, but not the rest of the picture, is accomplished by masking. Let's do some experiments to see what it will look like. Click the rectangle shape and size it in the middle of the water. Now, open the effects folder and drag the wave effect onto the rectangle shape. The first adjustment needed is to change the direction of the wave to 270 degrees. Select both tracks, then select Mask. When you play it, you can see how the wave effect works. But of course, we don't want the white background, so undo with Command-Z or Control-Z on a PC. Select the background and duplicate it and mask again. It is clear that we will need the mask to extend beyond the sides of the canvas, but let's try another experiment. Add the boat and move the boat track under the mask track. Notice the wave has a sharp edge along the boat. We can soften the edge by using the edge feather effect, so let's drag that effect onto the mask track in the timeline. Open the feathers properties and change the strength to 20%. Toggle it on and off a few times to see how the effect works. For me, I think the feathering makes it look more natural. By the way, when I create a video, I do a lot of experimenting just like you saw me do here. Okay, at this point I will delete the experiments and return to the background. Now I could use one big mask on the water, but I want the waves up front to be bigger and the wave peaks near the horizon to be closer to each other. That will require two masks. So, let's create the mask for the horizon first. Add the rectangle shape and size it to cover the upper portion of the C. Add the wave effect. Change the width to 10 and the speed to 3. I will have the horizon waves go in the opposite direction from the foreground and so set the direction to 90 degrees. After previewing these settings, I will adjust the height to a lower value. That looks better. Now apply another rectangle for the waves in the foreground. To help see it better, change the color of the shape. Again, apply the wave effect, set width to 40%, direction to 270 degrees, and speed to 
When previewing that, it seems a bit fast, so change speed to 5%, and let's decrease the height to 3% also. At this point, it is time to create the mask. And since there are two masks, we need to duplicate the background two times. For me, I find it easier to mask by moving the duplicate background next to the rectangle shape in the timeline. Select the top two tracks and click on Mask. To keep things straight, I will rename the track to Foreground. Next, select the next two tracks and click on Mask. And for this one, I will rename it to Horizon. Now it is time to bring in the boat. Click on Media and open the C folder. Drag the boat onto the canvas. In the timeline, extend the duration to match the other tracks and move it below the foreground track. Position and resize the boat. After a test, it is time to add the feathering to the foreground. Drag the edge feather onto the foreground track and set the feather strength to 20%. There you go. That is how to apply the wave effect to a portion of your background. But let's improve the video by giving the boat a bobbing motion. Click on the track of the boat. Right mouse click and click on group. Why did I do that? Because as a group, I can add batch animation. On the far right, click on the lightning bolt. Change left to 1% and decrease the speed to 40%. Change top to 1% and decrease speed to 50%. Finally, set angle to 1% and take the defaults. Let's play that and see how it looks. Wow, we have changed a static picture into a movie by giving it some realistic motion. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.